Good evening. Choose here. Um, there was a, a request from maybe a couple of people to do a nachos video. I don't think he said Doritos, but um, maybe he meant nachos with ground beef, cheese, and all of that. But I got these. He said crunchy, so. And I also have a couple of slices of sausage pizza. This came courtesy of 7-Eleven. Because that's what I was in the mood for tonight. Sorry for the um, bag sound loud. Hope you guys are doing well. Whatever team you're rooting for, I hope they uh, hope they won or are winning rather. Before I dig into this, I just wanted to say, um, speaking of you know halftime uh, performances, which I did not see because I'm not watching anything related to the Super Bowl. I just wanted to say. That uh, regarding Beyonce, um, I saw her new video and heard the new song uh, on the bus this morning. And um, tomorrow morning, I will be bringing uh, my hot sauce with me. Uh, I will be putting it in my bag because that's swag, according to uh, Beyonce. So, I think everyone needs some condiments and condoms uh, in their bag. And actually, Beyonce is not the first one to say that. Patti LaBelle lays claim to having hot sauce in her bag at all times. So there. Some of you guys have asked me about this shirt in, in previous videos. You visit a site called spreadshirt.com. That's where I ordered this from. These things are they're okay, but they, they do have a kick. It's no joke. I have nothing to talk about, I don't think. That shit is hot. Hot like fire. Hmm. Last night, I listened to um, tracks from Rihanna's uh, new album, Anti. I'm not a Rihanna fan, but I gotta tell you, the first six tracks blow me away. I love the first track, Consideration. Um, I'm trying to get into the one with Drake, I think it's called Work. 
but the one I love, there's consideration and there's one, uh, oh, it's called James Joint. It's really short, but it's so good and stylistically not what I expected her uh, to do. But a track I love is a track called Woo. Oh my goodness. Mm. She really. This is a pretty decent record. I'll have to say. Any Rihanna fans out there? Anyone? Like I said, with the exception of like a few songs, I'm not really a fan of hers. It is kind of interesting to me how, you know, she started out as this little, you know, island girl, singer or whatever, upon the replay, and, you know, next thing you know, she's using, you know, N-words all over the place and cursing all over the place. Not that I'm anyone to talk about people cursing, but I just find it interesting, her progression. And her progression has gotten, uh, she revels in this sort of bad girl thing. Seems like the older young singers get, like when they start out, they start out as maybe teenagers or whatever. The older they get, the dirtier, filthier, more uh, risque they become. You guys notice that? And then when they have babies, they calm down. Unless you're Madonna. Well, I also love. This is just a little ranch dressing. This is not, and this is. I'll never buy this again. This came from uh, Walmart. It's so watery. I don't like that. I like my ranch thick. Okay. These are ranch dipped hot wing flavor. So I'll dip them in this ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Do you see that? Can you guys see that? There you can. Because I can see it. I can use it as rouge. No, that's not rude. Mascara. Right? Do I have that right? Suppose I could use this rouge too. There's so much. So much of it. Okay. I would like to address 
not address, but talk about eating eating sounds 19. I've watched her latest video. And what I love about her is that, you know, she talks a little bit, but she dedicates her time to the food, to the chewing. She doesn't sit around like me and have a whole bunch of shit to say. I, I, you know, I know people say they like my content and commentary and all that stuff. Thank you, by the way. But, you know, I feel like I have to run my mouth all the time. And uh, I love that she just dedicates the rest of the video to the food. Maybe it depends on what she's got going on, but I appreciate that. And by the way, in case you're wondering, Seven Eleven pizza is not good. It's just cheap. Mm -hmm. Cheap. Cheap and hard. Which in another setting would be okay. I like them cheap and I like them hard. That's all I'm going to say about that. I did two loads of laundry. I think I'll chat with this guy for the rest of the night. Well, for a portion of the night. And maybe watch a, uh, something on Netflix. Kind of a Sunday. Um, Sunday ritual. to the guy and I'm sorry I can't remember your name or your channel I really apologize for that um, but you know who you are um, to who um, requested this uh, nacho video I hope that these chips sufficed these hot chips and I hope that uh, they are Doritos but I hope the crunching and everything is suits your fancy. The texture of this of these jacked Doritos is a little bit thicker, just slightly thicker than the texture of regular Dorito, nacho Doritos. Just so you guys can get the feel of what I'm tasting. Tomorrow, I might even do another video. Who knows? Got the ideas right in the refrigerator. I get off work late tomorrow, though. Kind of late. We'll see how it works out. If they don't work me to the bone. Oh, and you guys, really? Stop commenting on how big my hands are. Getting the complex. <laughs> okay. That's enough for tonight. Have a good night, you guys. Peace, love, and hair grease.